What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, male and female. We're going to be looking into your relationship, work, and family. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. Of course, it's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, all the info is down below. So let's see what we got for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, male and female. I pulled your two cards just to have your energy out here. All right, your first card says it's time to release negativity. And your second card says work through your fears, okay? So let's see what we got for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, <clears throat> male and female, regarding your relationship, work, and family, okay? Let's see, two more shuffles for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, male and female. Spirit in the universe, Holy Spirit, angels of the white divine light, can you please give me clear messages for Scorpio? Ooh. All right. Let's see. Overall energy for your relationships. We have, ooh, the Hierophant. Beautiful energy. Overall energy for your work. We have the King of Wands. Okay. Very passionate. Um, very ambitious. Okay. Some of you guys could be maybe the owner of your own business or, you know, you could just be like, at like this top position maybe a management position or something like that let's see overall energy for your family we have the judgment okay so maybe calling um making the final decision okay so let's see first card for your relationship is going to represent what you what you need to do now in reference to your relationship so we got the four of cups so there could be an offer okay maybe being extended to you it looks like this relationship could be some sort of a commitment, you know, um, or maybe this relationship possibly could lead to marriage for some, but the overall energy, some of y'all could be dealing with the, with the Taurus, okay, is what I'm getting. Maybe they want a commitment with you, okay? I feel like somebody is offering you a commitment. Definitely could be a Taurus or a water sign, another water sign, but they are offering you, I feel, okay? So let's see. Um, the next card is for your work. This is going to represent what you need to do now with reference to your work. We got the Six of Cups. So this is um, a sharing card. You know, this is maybe you work with children or something like that. Or, you know, whatever your work, whatever work you do is kind of like maybe you're doing some sort of service here where you're helping people, giving back or something like that. Okay, let's see. The next card is for your family. This is what you need to do now in reference to your family. We have the Three of Swords. Okay. So maybe I'm, I'm getting with the judgment. This could be like a phone call or something that's resurfacing. Or maybe, maybe a family member that you haven't talked to or maybe heard from in a while. We do have the Three of Swords. So this could be some sort of loss. Or this could be like somebody missing you. Or this could be... Um, your family member yeah like your family member may be like missing you or whatever okay let's see back to your relationship this is the helpful influences regarding your relationship we have the four of swords so okay so you could be taking some time out to kind of like think on things when it comes to this relationship moving forward making um making more of a commitment um so taurus you could be thinking about i'm mean, taurus wow you definitely could be dealing with a taurus i'm sorry scorpio you could be dealing with a taurus but you could be thinking about um the offer that they're extending to you okay yeah you may be thinking about um marriage or whatever this is i'm, I'm really getting somebody wants to marry you or yeah so maybe you could be just be like contemplating and thinking about things okay next card for your work is the helpful influences we got the eight of wands so this could be communication or just things moving really fast very rapidly things moving this could be traveling as well um or this also could be let's just say for instance if you are the owner of your own business um let's just say for instance a flower shop okay this could be orders coming in people coming in you know or contacting you wanting to buy your product or you know this could be you know customers you know customer service um coming in like a shitload of orders or something like that that could be coming in for you regarding your work okay keeping you very busy 
Um, all right, so let's move on to your family. The next card is going to represent um, the helpful influences for your family. We have the Knight of Swords. So an air sign, somebody like an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay, somebody like a Gemini, maybe somebody younger or whatever that could be in your family, um, rushing in with some sort of a, like, you know, communication. This is what's helpful. So maybe somebody is giving you some sort of communication or, um, wow, I, I feel like this is connected because we got the four of swords. And we got the three of swords. So this is resting or recovering from a broken heart. Um, I feel like, yeah, this relationship and family column is definitely connected in some sort of, some type of way. Um, but I feel like it's definitely going to be some sort of a, like, communication coming in. Possibly from you or someone in your family about this, you know, that. It's talking about some sort of a situation where you where you are healing or maybe this is your energy thinking about things about the relationship uh contemplating on accepting this offer you could be contemplating on accepting this offer because there could have been something that resurfaced from this person's past or maybe from your past that could be trying to block you from moving forward that could be the case as well scorpio okay all right, so let's see, what do you, what, um, so the next card for your relationship is what you do not, um, what you shouldn't do, I'm sorry, what you shouldn't do regarding your relationship, we got the seven of pentacles, so this is still like contemplating on this investment, um, kind of like stagnant type of energy, still thinking about things, um, but this is a card of wealth with the seven of pentacles, this is a card of wealth. Um, but to me, sometimes I look at this, um, sometimes I look at this seven of pentacles as, you know, somebody kind of like bored, you know, um, a little bit of like a little bit of depression, like somebody really doesn't know whether or not they want to continue building on this relationship or commitment because the seven of pentacles talks about investments. So this is what you shouldn't do. I'm getting pondering too long about whether or not you want to take this person's offer because the overall energy is the um is the hierophant and this talks about commitments. So what you don't want to do is kind of like string somebody along or kind of like you know wait wait it out and wait it out and wait it out. You guys may have been together for a long while. I mean, 7 of pentacles, this is this is this energy is not overnight. This is kind of like built up over time. So, you know, I feel like what you don't want to do is kind of like sit it out and wait it out and just, you know, kind of like keep pondering on the same thing. I really feel like you need to take action when when it comes to this relationship, whether or not you're going to continue or whether or not you're going to let it go. OK, because I'm getting kind of like a stringing somebody along type of vibe. So maybe you could be doing this to somebody, Scorpio, or maybe they could be doing this to you. But I feel like it's mainly you. Um, you could be stringing this person along because they're coming in with a commitment. They want to make, they want to build something with you solid. Okay. So over to your work. This is what you should not do regarding your work. We got the Empress. Okay, so the Empress, this could be a female figure, um, you know, could be a mother figure, or um, if this is having to do with your family, maybe you shouldn't put family or, like, put others into your, like, try to, like, put family in, into your work situation. Um, the Empress is about growth. The Empress is about creative new ideas that type of thing um because whatever your work whatever work you're doing you're very passionate about it and i'm getting a lot of orders or whatever this is communication regarding your work or travel but i'm really getting i feel like you are like your own business owner like you own your own business this could be product that you're selling and I'm getting a lot of a shitload of orders coming in for you or work or whatever this is.
Hmm. I'm going to have to pull one more card for this Empress. Maybe you shouldn't get family involved with your personal work business or, you know, that type of thing. Um, I don't know why I'm getting children. Oh, this could be the Empress. A mother figure. This could be somebody that you have children with, Scorpio. That could be hearing about the work that you're doing or the orders that's coming in. And they may, <laughs> this person may be coming to collect. I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue for your family. What you should not do in regards to your family. We got the Ten of Cups. Hmm, interesting. Let me pull my other deck. Yeah, we got the Three of uh, Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is definitely work. Um, Let me go ahead and get my little teeny deck, and I'm going to shuffle... I want to see what's in this cup here with the four cups. What's 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 what is what is the offer when it comes to your relationship, Scorpio? What is this person offering? Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be another water sign, or it could be a Taurus. Could be an air sign, yeah, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That could be offering you love or wanting to make a commitment. But I'm getting like you're kind of like resting and recovering and. Possibly from a heartbreak or past trauma or whatever this is. I'm just getting like you may you might not be interested. Let's clarify the four of cups. We got the eight of cups. Yeah, that's definitely what I was getting. Um this so this is so stop, you know, uh Scorpio. If you're doing this, stop the shit, okay? Because like, I'm getting somebody is like stringing whoever this person is that wants to be in a relationship with you or a commitment or a marriage. I don't know if you're I feel like you're stringing this person along. But they're definitely wanting to offer love, like they're wanting to offer their cup of love to you or whatever they can to get you. Um, so if, you, if you're not willing to take their offer, just walk away, okay? Because I'm getting a lot of pondering, you know, kind of like sitting back, oh, I don't know, and thinking about it, let me think about it, and let me get back to you and all that shit. It's kind of like you're stringing somebody along, or somebody is stringing you along, one or the other, Okay. Um, and this is definitely affecting your family. Yeah, because I feel like, like I told y'all, this relationship and the family role is kind of similar to me. It's still intimate relationships. So um, you may have somebody coming in or this could be your energy. You know, this is the helpful matter. So you, I feel like you just need to, if you're going to cut this person off, just cut them off and let them know. Like, you know, I don't want anything um serious right now and move forward because i feel like somebody definitely wants to offer you love they want to offer you a commitment um and it could be that you know maybe you're just caught up in your work as well you got a lot going on when it comes to your work i, I feel like for some of you you may even have children with this person as well um wow this is a lot going on scorpio so listen, <laughs> let me see if I can clarify a little more and then I'm going to pull some more cards and then we're going to bring this read into a close. Um, we do have the, the judgment card. So something is definitely resurfacing from your past, possibly something that you may have walked away from or a person that you may have walked away from. Um, so let me clarify this Knight of uh, Swords. For Scorpio, this is the helpful matters regarding your family. Um, oh, I don't know why I'm getting somebody is married or they just didn't tend on leave, like they didn't plan on leaving their family. I, but I just feel like Scorpio, you're stringing somebody along. So, like I said, if you don't want anything long term with this person, you you need to let them know, cut it off because I feel like. For some reason, I feel like maybe you already have a family or maybe you already have children or something like that where you're not going to walk away from what you've already tried to build here. I mean, because this card is representing the Ten of Cups, like what you shouldn't do regarding your family. Because I feel like this is a family card, of course. And I feel like maybe you don't want to break anyone's heart or you don't want to hurt your, your children or something like that. Um, so what is this Knight of swords energy this is the helpful influences like what's helping the helpful influences regarding your family 
this could be your energy okay yeah two of swords could be communicating to someone that you're not like yeah two of swords it's like at a stalemate i'm not willing to go ahead and take action or be with you or leave my family for you that's what i'm getting yeah because i'm getting somebody either you're stringing on somebody like you're stringing somebody along you don't want to leave your family or you, you know like something like that okay this is a hot mess, Scorpio. <laughs> Only good thing I'm seeing is your damn job, your work. Because we got a lot of orders coming in. What is the Eight of Wands? This is what's helpful regarding your work. So maybe it just keep maybe your work keeps you busy from thinking about shit or from thinking about what actually needs to take place or what needs to be done here is what I'm getting. We got a lot on your hands, Scorpio. Eight of Wands. We got the Five of Wands. Interesting. So we got, uh, I mean, this could be like a hell of orders coming through. Maybe, you know, this is from maybe a number of people, more than one person, of course. Five of Wands, things are just all over the place. Um, or maybe you're getting a little overwhelmed as far as the orders or the work that you need to do. It's, it's kind of like a lot coming in. It's like a lot, fast communication, things very like swift movement just coming in regarding your work. So like I said, this could be... Um, people purchasing things from you especially if you are the owner of your own business so yeah you got a lot going on scorpio like you have a lot going on okay um let me go ahead and who let's see i'll pull some oracle cards um Representing one for your relationship, one for your work, and one for your family. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, male and female. All right, so let's see what we got for Scorpio. What we got for Scorpio. All right, so this is for your relationship. We got the Hope card. Wow. So going through some sort of enlightenment. Yeah, this is kind of like the hangman um i mean not the hangman the star card still staying hopeful still staying optimistic needing to heal okay remaining positive regarding this relationship could be the other person because i feel like maybe you're walking away i mean but they're saying like if you don't want to give this relationship a chance you need to walk away because you know this person is still holding on to hope that maybe you guys can get back together or maybe you guys can, you know, um, fix your relationship, your marriage, whatever this is, okay? One card for your work, Scorpio, we have the Harmony card. Wow, so maybe you're going into business or partnership with someone as well, okay? It could be a female, yeah, because we got the Empress here. Or maybe you're trying to go into business with your lover or a mother figure or something about some sort of partnership here when it comes to your work. Okay. Um, <laughs> so that's what I'm getting with that. Um, and one for your family, we have ignited passion. So, of course, I feel like you have a lot of love, you know, you have a lot of um you're very passionate when it comes to your family. Beautiful energy, though, Scorpio. And it's like you're willing to protect them at all costs, even if it means um, hurting other people in the process is what I'm getting. It's like you're not going <laughs> to. It's like that, <laughs> that type of thing. I don't mean to laugh, but that's what I'm getting, though. It's like, you know, you're willing to protect your family. And, you know, um, it's like. I don't know why I'm getting like hoes better know their place or these dudes better know their place or something like that. Somebody better know their place. Cause when it comes to your family, it's like, no, I'm not cutting them off for you. That's what I'm getting. Like somebody mm, Scorpio, you got a lot on your hands. Let's go ahead and um, get an overall energy for you. Yeah. But like I said, you don't want to string anybody along or if this is happening to you, you know, you don't, wanna, you don't want anyone to spring you to string you along. Um, let's get an overall energy for Scorpio. We got divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. So, <laughs> I love this card. Um, so this card is talking about you know 
divine intervention and you know spirit the universe god okay they definitely answer your prayers but it has to be sincere it has to be you know genuine that type of thing um yeah so that's your message and i'm just gonna leave it there okay we got all the elements here okay um earth Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Air, a lot of Air energy too, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, and Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So if this reading resonates with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.